Hey, what's up? John from VideoFort.com bringing you a new fun, fast, and easy tutorial. But today, we're in motion. Not our uh, typical program of choice. What are we going to be doing today? Well, I'm just going to show you guys some cool things that Motion has to offer as far as their particle emitters go. They've got some uh, really cool particle emitters in here that uh, you can use inside of your After Effects projects as like uh, effects plates. Uh, so we're going to be focusing on the pyro and uh, we'll just kind of check out a couple of the different things that you can go with and how to alter some of these to customize the uh, effect a little bit more to how you want it. So uh, let's go ahead and dive right in. So when you open up Motion, you're probably going to be like in this view here. And we're just going to go over to where it says Library. And that's going to show us all the different effects that are pre-installed in here. And uh, if we go underneath where it says Particle Emitters, and then we're going to go into Pyro, that's going to give us all our different pyrotechnic effects and looks. And if we select them, we can get like a preview of how they look right up here in this window. And it'll loop those back and forth. And you can get a good idea of how each one of them looks so that you can you know, create the desired uh, special effect. They've also got some cool fireworks in here as well. So you can light up the night sky using those. So I'm just going to grab Burning Match and toss it right over here in our project window. And if we move the time forward a little bit, we'll notice that the flame animates itself. And we can play it back by hitting spacebar. And I'll play back the animation. So it's already made for us, which is nice. And uh, that could be used if we tracked a shot where someone was holding a candle or you know lit up a match. We can use this as the flame. You can also alter it a little bit by selecting where it says burning match. And then if you go up to over here where it says inspector, that'll bring up all the different like effect controls. And uh, you can go to the properties here, behaviors. Well, if there's no behaviors there, filters, because we haven't added any. And you also got the emitter controls here. And so you can play around with these to, you know, get different effect with your flame. Very similar to how, you know, particular works in After Effects or any of those other ones. So after you have all of your uh, settings, how you want them here, you can play it back and kind of review your animation, make sure it looks how you want. And then you can also export this. So if you press Command E, that'll bring up your export controls. And you can choose to you know export it however you want. I would do an Apple ProRes 444. And then you want to make sure that you have color plus alpha because that's going to make it so that you can take out the black and the flame will show nice on you know whatever project you're using it in. And then if you just say OK to next, it'll tell you where to save the file. And I would set up, you know, maybe a folder with all these effects that you want them to go into and just create a list of different cool little flame and fires that you can use uh, in your After Effects projects. So I'm not going to do that right now, but you see you can get a lot of different cool little effects generated from this and, you know, Motion is only 50 bucks in the Apple Store, Apple App Store, which is nice, uh, pretty inexpensive. These aren't, you know, super realistic fire effects, but if you're on a budget, these will these will do the trick, and they look awesome. And you can really customize them to how you want, and uh, do some really cool things that you'd usually have to pay a lot of money for. Um, so you know, one time, 50 bucks, and you get all these different cool little plugins. They've also got different ones for like sci-fi stuff and uh, you know a bunch. So check them out, go through them, play with them, customize them how you want and use them in your After Effects projects. Make sure to uh, comment below to show us how you're using these effects. We love to see how our users are making cool and new interesting videos. And from there, head over to videofort.com. You can use some of these different fire effects and firework effects for our awesome stock footage to really bump up some of your project's uh, quality value. Otherwise, that wraps up today's motion.
tutorial. Make sure to click subscribe and uh, stay up to date with all our other new and exciting tutorials that we're putting out for you. We like to keep you guys updated. And make sure to have a great day. Or not. The choice is yours. Later, guys. Videofort.com. Thank <laughs> you.